Can you lower your blood pressure naturally and get off medication? In this video, you're gonna find out. So the short answer is maybe, it depends. So I'm assuming you're on blood pressure medication. In fact, you may be on multiple blood pressure medications, five or six blood pressure medications. So let's discuss the factors involved in whether you can get off uh, blood pressure medications, and it's gonna depend on a number of factors, so let's dive into it. First thing is, you're gonna have to talk to your doctor about this, because if you're on five or six blood pressure medications, chances are you're not the spitting image of health, and you need to start improving your health, because if you were healthy, you wouldn't be on five or six blood pressure medications. You need to look in the mirror and make a decision as to whether you're willing to start to do some things. If you are extremely overweight, then that's not, good, not gonna change very quickly. And what you have to do is you have to start doing something to lose the weight. And no one's gonna tell you that because they don't want to offend you or embarrass you, or it's an uncomfortable subject. But if someone's 380 pounds, how on earth are they gonna get off blood pressure medication if they don't lose some weight? The weight may take two years to come off and you just have to be willing to do that. And so many people want instant gratification that it's just almost unheard of to, to lose that kind of weight in that type of time. Let me know if you have actually done it. Have you lost a tremendous amount of weight? And let me know how you did it. What type of diet you did? Did you start exercising? My recommendation would be to start doing some form of cardiovascular exercise where what you do is you start walking if that's possible or riding an exercise bike where you can actually start to raise your heart rate up and get it to a level where you're huffing and puffing a little bit and you can try to maintain that for about 30 minutes. When you start to exercise, you're, a lot of things start to happen. First of all, exercise will stimulate a lot of hormones in our body that will lower our blood pressure almost as much as some medications will, and those results of the lower blood pressure medication will last a day. So just as you're taking blood pressure medication every day, you wanna do exercises every day. And that exercise can significantly lower your blood pressure. The second thing is you need to change your diet. And this is the most controversial thing because there are extreme diets such as a carnivore diet or a vegan plant-based diet that, and both of them do intermittent fasting. So what that means is you're, you're not allowed to eat breakfast and you have to eat an early dinner and you try to cram as much food into you in as little time as possible. And that seems to work for some people, others it doesn't. Uh, some people are just not not vegans, and some people are just not carnivores. And the hard part is figuring out the diet that you think you can do. The good news is every single diet, every single extreme diet promises the same thing, but the results are in the pudding, so to speak. And that's a, that's a pun, a pudding. You should not be eating pudding. <laughs> Although once in a while, pudding is pretty good, I have to say. Try to ride your bike 60 miles before you eat pudding, but I digress. Seriously though, man, you know, we need to change our diet. Most people are eating just too crappy of, of a diet and anything they change to is probably gonna work. And I've made videos about this, that if you go from a McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, Taco Bell diet to a vegan diet, everything's gonna change. But likewise, if you go from that same diet to a carnivore diet, you're gonna, you're gonna achieve the same results. You're gonna lose weight, you're gonna lower your blood cholesterol, you're gonna lower your blood sugar, your blood pressure's gonna go down. So the better the diet, the better off you're gonna be. You wanna eat, think of eating like, what would a healthy person eat? I happen to follow, just personally, more of a Mediterranean diet, just because it seems to work for me. And I'm not saying you have to follow that diet, but it's a very easy diet to follow tasty food, you don't feel restricted, and it kind of gets the best of both worlds, and it's not really an extreme diet. But you follow what you want. There are some tricks and hacks that you could use. Uh, some of them are more dietary, some of them more exercise in, uh, induced, but you can do some deep breathing exercises every day, because if you have anxiety, you have stress, you have tension, that's not doing you any favors at all. All those things I just mentioned, 
produce a lot of different chemicals in our body, such as cortisol, uh, adrenaline, that just raise our blood pressure. And it's almost like drinking 10 cups of coffee a day uh, when tension happens. It's just, you're, you're behind the eight ball. So if you can do daily breathing exercises, that takes commitment. You know, it takes three, five minutes of commitment per day, but if you start doing that every single day, you're gonna have an amazing effect over a period of time. It will lower your systolic numbers significantly, actually, but just like brushing your teeth, as soon as you brush your teeth, your teeth are clean, but then as soon as you eat something, the teeth are dirty again. If you do deep breathing, your blood pressure will lower, but as soon as you have something that stresses you out, blood pressure goes up again, but it's that daily effect. Just like brushing your teeth every day, it's temporary, but over time it has an effect the same thing with breathing. Breathing is exactly the same way. So breathing will temporarily lower your blood pressure. However, over time, it has a long-term effect. The other thing that you can do is you can do little tricks like drinking beetroot juice every day, and that helps significantly lower your blood pressure. That will lower your blood pressure within three hours, and the results last for a long period of time. You combine that with a little cardiovascular exercise, it's a winning combination. I don't usually mention this in my videos because I assume it's obvious and you really don't need some other, another stupid YouTube video telling you this information, but it should go without saying, is if you're smoking, uh, you're not gonna get off blood pressure medication unless you quit smoking. So you need to find a program to stop smoking. If you're drinking tons of sodas every day to expect uh, yourself to get off blood pressure medication when you're drinking five or six sodas per day is just ridiculous. I mean, it's not gonna happen. The last and final thing that really needs to occur is if you start exercising and you're exercising 30 minutes a day of cardiovascular exercise, you're, you're drinking beetroot juice, you've changed your diet, you've cleaned it up, you're eating a lot more vegetables and you're eating um, less animal products but not entirely omitted them, you're drinking tons of water, you're not drinking sodas, you've stopped smoking. What are the odds that you're gonna get healthy? Pretty much darn high. And as you get healthy, as years go by, what's gonna happen to your blood pressure naturally? Duh, it goes down. Well, what happens, what's the need for the medication then? That will slowly trinkle, trinkle away. And the last thing is really to find a doctor that's open to you lowering your blood pressure naturally. Some doctors are just adamantly against it. I don't get it. I just quite frankly don't get it. Why would a doctor not want you to get healthy? If you were to, after a year of progress, let's say you lost 80 pounds. Let's say your resting heart rate went down. Let's say your blood sugar went down. Let's say you're eating a Mediterranean diet now and you're exercising seven days a week and you're drinking beetroot juice and you're lowering your stress and you're doing five minutes of breathing exercise. Holy cow, wouldn't a doctor be happy about that? Wouldn't a doctor say, wow, we've put you on five or six different medications and I think we can lower that to two medications or one medication or what do you think? What do you think? So I'm not really certain why I hear stories about this where doctors are opposed to this. If you have had a doctor that's opposed to this, let me know in the comment section, but I treat a lot of other um, doctors, medical doctors, and they're all extremely friendly. They're all open to this. I think the, the problem is a lot of people are frustrated. A lot of doctors are frustrated and that's why they sometimes just tell you just stay on the medication because they know. They know personally too, it is hard to actually change all these things, but it is possible. I've had numerous, I can't even count how many patients that have lowered their blood pressure through natural means and kept off the medication. So is there a possibility? Just read the comments down below. I'm sure there's lots of success stories.